Greetings once more and welcome to New Dawn Ministries TV. And tonight we are finalizing our four-part series titled Profiling Dominant Personalities. And tonight we'll be profiling the personality of Jezebel. Welcome to New Dawn Ministries TV. If I were to rank the most prevalent uh, person, dominant personalities among the four personalities that we discussed, I will say that Jezebel takes the first prize. Most people are struggling with this type of personality and most specifically churches. Now this doesn't mean that um, this personality you won't find it anywhere else, but this personality certainly is the most dominant one among all the type of personality that we had discussed. Now let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 2 and I'll be reading from verse 20 and we'll get some glimpses in terms of the personality um, of this type of spirit. It reads as follows, Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet. Amen. And again, Jesus, in the book of Revelation, addresses a certain woman, and I promise you, the name of this woman was not Jezebel. I promise you. Then this woman who was addressed by Jesus in the book of Revelation had her own name, but Jesus was addressing not the person, but was addressing the spirit behind a personality. And Jezebel, as you all know, she was a woman in the book of um, Kings and she was married to King Ahab. But a thousand years later, the same type of personality uh, presenting uh, itself in the form of uh, Jezebel uh, is found in this particular woman. And Jesus comes and he addresses this church. And this church was doing quite well, the church of Tyre Tyre. And it was doing very well. But Jesus said to this church, I have one thing against you. You tolerate that woman, Jezebel. And interestingly, Jesus says, she calls herself a prophet. And this is a first sign that can indicate to us the type of personality of Jezebel. Jezebel loves titles. That's the first thing. She loves hierarchy. She loves power. And I'm using the word she, but please do understand that this type of personality can equally affect men as well because spirits are genderless, but it loves to present itself mostly on women, but that doesn't mean that some men might not struggle with this type of personality. And one thing that we can pick up here is that she presents herself as a prophet. And this means that she loves church, she loves to pray, she loves revelation, she loves visions and dreams and so on. And this is what makes it very difficult to spot the spirit. If, if, if you can spot certain trends, you might be able to pick up what type of spirit you are dealing with. And the first one is the fact that she loves to call herself a prophet. And secondly, she loves um, um, prophecy. In other words, she presents herself as if she's a very spiritual um, 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 type of person and she loves prophetic word, she loves visions, she loves to interpret dreams and so on. Um, but you will see later on that all of those things are just a mask, it's a deception. And this is a false type of prophetic uh, spirit. And also Jezebel hates true prophetic ministry. If there's a true prophet, and there is a Jezebel, there will always be a conflict. Because a true prophetic ministry can spot a Jezebel from a mile away. And you will find that. And that's why in the book of Kings, um, when Jezebel came in, uh, to be married to King Ahab into the camp of Israel, Jezebel, the first thing that she did was to destroy the true prophets of God 
and to and and she came and replaced the prophetic voice with the false uh, spirit of prophecy. In other words, she brought false prophets to come and occupy um, um, the temple of Israel. Number two, in verse 20, it says, By her teaching, she misled my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. That's the aim and that's the purpose of the personality of Jezebel. As much as she presents herself as a prophet, there is a deep agenda. And this agenda is sexual seduction. In other words, she intends to compromise the true integrity of men and women who comes <clears throat> and worship God. That's the true intent. She might present herself as a spiritual being, but the true intent is to compromise. And how does she do this? She does it through seduction temptation and sexuality you will be shocked if you were to find how much sexual immorality we find in our church committed by people that we perceived at first as being very spiritual and then later on we found out that they've compromised certain individual in church when it comes to sexuality is because the spirit as much as it presents itself as spiritual its agenda is to compromise, is to shame, is to tint, is to break, is to um, make people not to follow the true God. And here is the second point. She, the Bible says she taught. In other words, she, a, a, a Jezebel personality loves position of influence and power. And it is important that you become so discerning and people that you put in power to teach other people you need to be so sure that these people indeed they prophesy out of the true will of the spirit of god if you don't descend you'll find yourself that you've promoted someone and these people are in the position of influence and now they are able then to sow certain teachings which are not found in the word of God. It's because there's an agenda behind this personality. Hallelujah. Let's jump to the last and the third point of this personality. In verse 21 it says, I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. And that's the point number three. I have given her time to repent, but she is unwilling. The personality of Jezebel is extremely stubborn, extremely controlling, and extremely dominant. This type of spirit, it does not um, um, yield to the move of God quite easily. It is self-righteous. It sees itself as being righteous, but at its core, it's really against God. And Jesus says, I've given her time to repent, but she's unwilling. And that unwillingness is also a very important sign that we can pick up behind the personality of Jezebel. They are very stubborn, they are very prideful, and they are very self-righteous. In other words, you can't correct them. You can't tell them. You can't show them their, their, their mistake. In fact, if you show them their mistake, they have no ability to uh, uh, to repent and, and they cannot show any remorse. And that's a very bad sign which is very important when you're dealing with this personality. You'll realize that every time when they've made a mistake, it's not them, but it's you. There's not, they are always perfect. They are not willing to say, you know what, in one, two, three, I've done wrong and I'm repenting and I'm, I'm humble, I'm humbling myself. Every time when the spirit is called, is being corrected, you will realize that you, the one who's doing the correction, you are actually in the wrong in the first place. And what I love in this verse is when it starts, because Jesus says, I have given her time to repent. And I love that because it means that there is hope. It means that God has an expectation that anyone who is struggling with this personality, there is still time and grace for you to make right. In other words, it is possible for you to be delivered from the personality of Jezebel. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for showing us your word. 
we thank you for unpacking the personality uh, behind the spirit of Jezebel. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are opening up our eyes, that we may see and discern. And if anyone is struggling through this personality, we break those strongholds. We pray that the true Spirit of God will go to them and just deliver them from those type of personalities and spirits in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that you dismantle the grip and the powers of this spirit in so many people so that we can be delivered, we can be set free, so that we can worship you in truth and in spirit. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. And please like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you found this content to be a blessing unto you. Till we meet next time, God bless you.